Okay, good afternoon. Welcome to TransWest Truck Trailer RV of Frederick. My name is Callie Say, and I am in horse trailer and Cimarron toy hauler sales. For those of you that have been watching our videos, this right here is, is our Cimarron president. Yep, I'm Ben Jansen, president of Cimarron Trailers from Chickasha, Oklahoma. And on behalf of over 100 employee owners, we're, we're thankful for the business we do with with TransWest. I've been working with TransWest with Cimarron now for 16 years and, and working with Andrew for over 20 years together. So it's been a great relationship and look forward to a lot of great years ahead. And primarily, for the most part, you've been building us horse trailers, correct? Yes, horse trailers and stock trailers. And about a year and a half ago, we started talking about another market um, that what customer base is out there that maybe doesn't have livestock or doesn't have horses that wants to haul their toys, haul a different kind of horsepower. So we collaborated with TransWest and built our Freedom models, along with outlaw conversions to do the interiors in these. Really exciting to have this product here. You guys have invested in that with some different models here in inventory. And we're gonna go through this trailer day and check it out. Um, it takes the, the basis of the construction and design of our, our tried and true horse trailers, um, the aluminum structure and engineering that's we kind of built our foundation on at Cimarron, and yet we've changed it and come up with new items for the toy hauler market with living quarters. It's really exciting and excited to show. This isn't your traditional toy hauler that's a, a fiberglass type body, you know, made in Indiana, and you get choices of three or four layouts and colors. This is truly custom, and so it's exciting to bring this to the market and to build a product that somebody can go have fun with. Take their toys and go to the mountains or, or go to the dirt tr bike trails or take snowmobiles in the winter take a, a UTV and go hunting with your buddies. Uh, and these are built to go off-road. You don't just have to go to a, a campground, you know, on blacktop and park your, your toy hauler. You can take this to the trails, out to the pastures, and uh, go enjoy it and have fun. Absolutely. We know that these, these units can be financed for a really long time, so one of the big things that we've struggled with is finding a trailer that can withstand it, the, the term long enough to make it worthwhile to finance out this long so absolutely we're building a product that's going to retain value and not depreciate like the traditional rv these trailers are going to hold up the interior is going to hold up they're built to take the abuse and use as long as you maintain it keep it clean um, and take care of it you've got a product that's not going to depreciate on the normal schedule of a traditional rv absolutely so. So let's check out some of the things we've done on this. You bet. Starting off, this is a 16-foot garage and a 16-foot living quarter. So a 32-foot box, a 9-foot nose. So what would people would call a 41-foot RV or 41-foot toy hauler, if you look at the total length. Um, some of the designs we've incorporated from our horse trailer side is the enclosed gooseneck. This area has the roll-up door that so keeps everything clean behind this. And as we open this up, we'll find a lot of features of the trailer and how it works. That simply rolls up out of your way. If you're hooked to your truck and need to stop, you can still get in here. We have your spare tire, the 50 amp power cord. You got your hydraulic jacks, really robust jack system here with, with equalizer. Up here you have part of the inverter system, which, which Callie will talk about here. That's part of your power supply. And then down here's your LP bottles. Everything's protected and we've got an expanded metal floor in there. So if you need to put some other equipment in there you've got a little bit of storage space and one of the reasons we can't completely enclose this is because we've got our propane bottles in here correct? yes with propane you've got to let that gas escape so that's why the expanded aluminum yeah but this is a great place like i said power cords tools we have a ton of people who use this we've got it on a lot of our horse trailers a lot of our show trailers so it just made sense to bring the same idea over to our toy haulers so right up in here um, especially since we have it kind of enclosed, it keeps everything really clean. We've got a lot of our, our power going out of this direction. So typically you would see your, your batteries up here. Because we've upgraded the batteries to a lithium ion battery, um, we like to keep those inside the actual trailer. So it gives us room to put the inverter out here. This is a Xantrex 3000, really good high quality inverter, um, helps, helps send the power where it needs to be and it allows you to make this trailer a little more, more self-sufficient. So if you want to take this out somewhere, um, use most of your, your items without having to run your AC units, this is really great to have this because you can run your microwave, you can run um, your power, you can run your, your TV, all of that off this inverter without firing up that AC, really, or without, without firing up the generator. The only real reason you'd want to fire up the generator is 
to get that AC because it's just a little too much power for it. If you look at the details in there, everything's very accessible, you know, from a maintenance standpoint, and the Outlaw does a tremendous job labeling all the wiring, and that's where really the attention to detail comes in. Uh, just a, a fabulous job. Absolutely. You call labels. Yeah. I know, it makes it really, really easy to find what you're looking for. So. And you guys installed this battery box um, yes. at, at Cimarron. Yeah. Cimarron builds the structure and then the interior and all the electronics installed by Outlaw. Absolutely. Yeah. Really love this new color, the silver metallic. Uh, I know you guys have inventoried these trailers in a couple different colors, from white to black to silver, but uh, these new silvers and grays are really are pretty. Absolutely. And right here, um, we've got the side extrusions. Why did we decide to do that? We could have well, just... The side extrusion gives it more strength in the overall body and structure. Um, if you go through maybe a wooded area, maybe that trail hadn't been cleaned out, that can take a little more abuse than the regular just aluminum sheet. Um, it adds strength, it adds beauty to the overall product. Absolutely. Uh, we've gone with the, the frameless windows, the new style RV windows on there, really gives it a clean, classy look. Like I said, this trailer, we've got equal amount of living quarters and cargo space. So let's go in here and take a look. Perfect. Pretty cool. Before we go all the way in, let's. I just want to point out these, these, this awning right here. It's an armless awning, which makes it really nice if you're walking back and forth at night, you're not going to clean your head out on those awning arms. And that's something that you guys can put on other trailers down Yeah, we, we enjoy using these armless awnings also on some trailers at our place too, mm -hmm. for people for livestock or wanting this. Yeah. I mean, it's a nice day in Colorado, but still helps to have the shade. So pop that awning out and you can enjoy the space outside. Yeah. So this is our outlaw interior. Um, we've got a lot of fancy gadgets in this trailer, but I kind of want to talk to you, Ben, about what happens when this goes down to outlaw. How does it leave you guys? Okay, when we build the trailer, it's the all aluminum shell. Before we ever build it, we're communicating with our dealer, TransWest, and also with outlaw to design the living quarters. And they send us a drawing, an engineer drawing of where to locate everything to make this floor plan work. Just like building a house or a barn, you have to know where the windows are gonna go, the doors, the walls, the bathroom, the kitchen. So we actually engineer the sidewall um, so that we know exactly where the slide out's gonna go, where the windows are gonna go, so all the framing is correct, even down to the vents for the refrigerator. So that when Outlaw gets it, when they get what we call the shell or the trailer body, they can go in and do all their framing uh, with the wood inside of it all their electrical wiring, and then when they cut out for, say, like the refrigerator vent, they're not cutting into our framework. Mm -hmm. So it's a very close working relationship between the, us, the, the trailer manufacturer, and then the living quarters installation. And uh, that's very important because if you do have something that you want to put the living quarters in, you're not compromising on the structure because of your communication. So right. it really helps make sure that your product is withstanding. Right, it has to, use. you know, that layout of the trailer has to be built with this living quarter shell in mind, Absolutely. for sure. Perfect. We've got so the larger slide out on this, the eight and a half foot slide, so that allows for this closet and pantry to go out and just create more open floor space, which makes this trailer just enjoyable to use. We did the electric slide out. If you want to go bigger, you have to go to the hydraulic slide out, correct? Correct. If we're going to go to a larger slide, we go to the hydraulic. Perfect. Yeah. All right, so on this interior, Outlaw does a really great job of making sure that they use really high quality materials it's going to be hardwood cabinetry. Um, these are kind of the shaker style. They do a really good job of making sure all their wires are um, clean and tucked away. You're not going to have random wires that you could accidentally grab onto um, and rip out if you pull some Tupperware or something out of there. Um, I mentioned earlier that our batteries are on the inside for this trailer. So these lithium ion batteries, they're Lion Energy batteries. Uh, we can stack them any direction we want. They, they don't have a directional orientation they need to be placed in. They're a lot lighter than your standard lead acid battery. And they've got a battery management system on them. So if you ever let this trailer get too low um, and the batteries get to a point where, where they don't have enough charge, they'll actually turn themselves off. And they've got a little power button in here that if you come out here and you find that you don't have any power, you can press that on and it can give you enough juice to get everything running again so that you don't have to struggle to find a way to jump everything right. when you get there. And that's a really important feature to point out, you know, on these trailers. They're built to go off-road where you're not mm -hmm. going to be plugged in. You really put that into the design where these customers can get away from everything, 
go have the freedom to go enjoy America wherever you want to go and, and have that time with your family and not have to be in a campground next to everybody else. You can get away from all of it. Um, these days of social distancing, that sounds like a pretty appealing thing. <laughs> Load up your toys and go play for a while. Absolutely. But, um, so that, that is certainly an upgrade over how a traditional RV would be or even mm -hmm. a traditional uh, horse trailer living quarters yeah. is the, the battery power and energy management system really in this mm -hmm. whole trailer. But yeah. With this 16 foot living quarters, you've got plenty of room in here, the couch, the bar stools, little table there, dual entry to those, I really like that, mm -hmm. uh, rather than having to crawl up one area, a nice entertainment area, um, the large 6 refrigerator and freezer, and then a very comfortable bathroom with a lot of storage in it. So, so even though these aren't the huge monster slides and everything, that's going to be so much more usable for a family that wants to get off-road and not have to worry about things rattling apart on them. Right, and what I hear from customers that have those big RVs, you know, the height involved in those mm -hmm. trailers, the amount of slide outs, anytime you have multiple things like that, it's more things that can break or go wrong. So if you've got a slide out that won't go out, that hampers how you get to use that trailer. So these have the structure to go off road. Uh, they have well thought out floor plans and really excited to see where this will go. Absolutely. And on kind of the control panel over here, you do have your Xantrax. Um, all you can kind of go through and, and check your battery level, you can see what your load is. But the really cool thing about this is you can actually um, set it to where there's an auto gen start. So when we talk about self-sufficiency, you might be leaving this for the day, um, leaving some, some kids in here, they wanna watch TV. If the batteries get too low, you can set it so that when the batteries get to a certain point, it'll actually communicate with the generator, turn the generator on, charge your batteries up, and you can turn it off. So it's very self-sufficient. You can kind of run it by itself. You don't have to worry about um, coming back to a trailer that's completely been run dead. Um, it's just a really, really awesome feature that we put on this. And we did some safety features for it that we'll talk about when we get to the back. Yeah. Well, let's go check out the back. All see right. what we find back there. Sounds so. good. So on our way to the back, Kind of talk about the axles that we've got under this trailer. Yep. So this is a lot more clearance than you get on your horse trailers. Correct? Yes, absolutely. When we looked at building these trailers, we knew we wanted to put a different structure underneath it to get it up higher off the ground and really think about where the customers are going. Uh, they're going to be going off road, uh, maybe going to a hunting park, whatever. We needed more clearance. We don't have to worry about a low entry height for horses. So we've actually raised these trailers up about six inches higher off the ground than what our traditional horse trailer living quarters are. That gave us more clearance for our holding tanks for your living quarters and gave us some other advantages of smaller fender wells inside the trailer. Uh, as far as suspension, we've got 8,000 pound axles here with the 17.5 tires. So plenty of axle and tire capacity to get you and your family down the road safely. Um, with that and then the mid-length turn signal, just another added safety feature so those vehicles beside you while you're traveling can see that you want to turn. Mm -hmm. And we've got button lights kind of all over this trailer as well. Yeah, the so button clearing lights. Really, cool. really bright at night. Yeah. Okay. So back here to the toy area, right? The garage. So uh, we've got some cool toys loaded up. We've kind of got two different ways to get into this right now. Yeah. Um, you've got your man door back here uh, with the fold down step, which kind of allows you if you're not at a place where you need to put your ramp down, but you want to jump in here really quickly. Um, this is a great option to have without having to go through your living quarters. Yeah. Yep. That side door is a great entry and it's still here to a level that you can reach easily. We've got this ramp with a really cool feature. We built a party deck on it. So this isn't a, an extended garage. <laughs> um, we've got a little extended workspace now, but we've got this deck um, with cables on it holding it at 90 degrees. It's also our ramp, but right now we're using it as a deck and then with some fence. So if you can imagine once you get there and got all your toys unloaded, you've got an additional living space or party space back here. And then all these gates fold inside. And this can hold quite a bit of weight on this yeah. ramp. That ramp's rated at a 3,000 pound capacity. So whether you've got multiple people out here on the ramp, or if you want to load even a, a traditional two-door Jeep, you can drive a Jeep up in this trailer. Absolutely. The rear frame, we did a lot of design. When we engineered this, we have a 91 inch tall clear opening and then an 88 inch wide opening so even the big 
you know, jacked up UTVs, a lot of those will fit in here very well. But. Do you want to talk about the spoiler on the back? Yeah, that spoiler is a fun feature. Um, it adds a lot of class to the look, but then also, you know, the way that's designed and engineered that the air comes over that trailer and then forces air down on the ramp when you're traveling and that keeps your ramp and the back end of the trailer clean. So if you're going through snowstorms, going down some dirty roads, that's gonna take that air and put, force it down the back and keep the back of the trailer clean for it. Plus it looks really cool. It does, yeah. it makes you look fast. Yeah. So. Right. so in this deck, we've got some toys in here. We've got a, a fun dirt bike. You could have it out here working on it. Um, we've got room for two snowmobiles in here right now, plus this bike, we can mm -hmm. roll it up here in between. We angled this floor at the back at the ramp. So when this ramp is down, it is a smooth transition. There's no bump to roll over. I'm a very easy angle to access this trailer. And this complete garage is insulated and lined with aluminum sheets. You've got power back here, um, a second air conditioner unit. So this is also, once you unload your toys, it's another bedroom mm -hmm. or you know a place for the kids to go hang out and play. Absolutely, these couches will fold down as a, either a couch or bed. So this is a great place. I always tell people, throw your kids back here. There's a bathroom that separates you, so you don't have to have them running in and out all night, yeah. keeping you awake while they're out hanging out yeah. in this back area. So we've got a lot of fun things we built for this. We've got shelves and storage. We've got a, a box here to keep equipment in. Nice gas shock to lift that up. And then a lot of hooks, you know, with the toys. Um, there's always gear you've got to take. You got a, an extra belt. Um, We've got a fold-down workbench here or a table. It's easy to use. So if you need to work on a part or you know, use that for a variety of things. But just trying to talk to customers that have these types of products and our experience and design a really cool product. Absolutely. And then in order to secure all your your toys in here, you've got the, the airliner cargo track down yep. low. We've got the airliner cargo track there. We've got a variety of, of O-ring type hooks that can go at any length of this trailer where you can take a ratchet strap and, and tether, you know, the dirt bikes or snowmobiles, four wheelers down. So a lot of versatility in here. We've done the off to bright lights in here. They're very, they throw off a lot of light. Here, I'm gonna switch these on over here. Yeah. yeah. Um, so there's quite a bit of, you can easily turn this into a very usable garage at night. Absolutely, it's a workspace or again, a second living space too. Mm -hmm. And this material on the floor, what is that that we've decided to that, use here? That is a one piece rubber mat flooring from front to back on this garage area. It's easy to, to wash out, oil won't absorb into it. Uh, it's all the you know, full width product. So we unroll that in one piece, cut it to fit and glue it down. Um, so it's gonna take the abuse of vehicles rolling in and out of here and when you get done, you can hose it out. Okay. We talk a lot about the structure, about why these are gonna hold up a lot better than mm -hmm. a fiberglass trailer that's just rolling down the road. What is it from the ground up that kind of gives us that? Very good question, shape? Kelly. It's, it's all the aluminum extrusions that we have that we've designed to build the trailers from. A lot of our aluminum tongue and grooves together, it interlocks. Um, it's really the foundation upon which a Cimarron's built. Whether it's a horse trailer, a livestock trailer, one of these Freedom models, we incorporate all that engineering into this structure. Um, we have reinforcement in the upper corners that we know always take some of the racking abuse. Um, we've been building trailers for 20 years. We've got over 13,000 trailers on the road. Uh, we know the things to do, we know what not to do. And so we've, we've got great people back at Chick Shea building the trailers, um, welders in our shop and, and people building the parts that have true passion for this product and we take a lot of pride in what we build and we want to build something that's going to last generations. Absolutely. And standing back here, I know we've got some airflow going through here, but on a really, really hot day, you can walk into a Cimarron toy hauler in the garage area, and then you can walk into a competitor, and it's always so much cooler in here. It, why is it that? A lot of good features there. We have, first of all, our insulated roof, which we can't see, um, but that's a half inch thick. On these models, we've gone in and then insulated again underneath that roof and then lined this material. So you have over an inch and a half of insulation in the roof. Our sidewalls are an inch and three-eighths thick and they're fully insulated. So it's almost like 
a Yeti cooler in here, if you will, <laughs> compared to just a, a styrofoam cup. Yeah. I mean, it's, it's going to be more of a thermal barrier mm -hmm. um, with the air conditioner and heat in here. You want to be able to keep that temperature in here and keep it controlled. Mm -hmm. um, so the design of the Cimarron goes into what you're, you're seeing here. Absolutely. And it doesn't take long for it to cool down back here. On a 100 degree day, it's, you turn that AC on and it's, it cools down pretty quick. So yeah. it's great design there. Um, outlets up in, on the, the roof, there's plenty of power sources in this trailer. Yeah. We had talked earlier about um, about safety features for that auto gen start. Yep. And right up there we've got a carbon, carbon dioxide detector. Yep. And basically if there detects too much CO2 in the air, it'll turn off the generator. Yep. We had, um, when we were loading these bikes in here earlier, that thing is very sensitive. It started going off um, just because of all the emissions that were right. kind of building up in here. So there's yep. a lot of safety features that we've done. We know that people will be sleeping back here, so we want to make sure it's very safe and right. there's not going to be any issues. Yeah, we've, that's all part of, of the design and the safety in mind. You know, keeping mm -hmm. the ventilation, we have side vents high and low so we can get cross air in here. Mm -hmm. um, you've got fresh air from the air conditioner, you've got other air coming in from the furnace. This big box area, this was a, a unique design on this product here as well, up at the front. Um, again, going back to the theory of trying to keep the exterior very clean and keep the height down on these units instead of putting the generator on top of the trailer, which can be hit by tree limbs or, or other debris. We built it into the sidewall of the trailer. And as you notice, we've pulled this snowmobile all the way to the front and that hood still has plenty of room underneath that. Mm -hmm. The same thing when we've looked at doing like one of the, the UTVs or Ranger or something like that. When that vehicle gets up here, the hood is still underneath that box. But when we get around to the outside, we'll see the generator compartment and how that just keeps the overall trailer very clean. Absolutely. And it's very quiet in here too. I've had people back here with the generator running and sometimes they don't even notice that it's going. Yeah. Yeah. All right. I'll work our way out of here. Okay. We built this deck when we built it and this fence on here we wanted to give you some space to be able to step up and also a lot of times you're gonna have a cooler or something you can set it here beside it and just kind of adds to the versatility of the whole product Absolutely. and it's pretty easy to collapse and put back in which yeah. we can show you when we're kind of closing oh. up yeah mm -hmm. so with yeah. the ramp mechanism that we're using the only cables you've got are right here the springs are on the side and that was a really cool feature that we found when we we're designing this whole product from the ground up and uh, those are adjustable so we can make it fit each trailer yeah this cable right here is just for the party deck yeah so. that cable is just supporting that deck so we can can be out there um, this is another feature that Transwest wanted to include um, obviously you're hauling vehicles in here that need gas um, so in here you have an onboard fueling station mm -hmm. and this tank that's mounted under the body of the trailer that tank actually supplies your fueling station and the generator. Mm -hmm. So combining that was, was really a great thing to figure out. This trailer again is high enough that that tank is protected with an aluminum structure around it. And uh, this is so nice to be able to pull up your bikes, four wheelers, whatever, and, and fill it up. Yeah, and it's a big, it's a big 30 gallon tank. So you can go out for a long time. Um, and like I said, just drive right up. It's just like if you're pulling up to a gas station. It's yep. pretty cool. Pretty cool feature, for sure. And just like everything you guys built, these these doors, they've got research hinges on them. Yeah, this, this is a door we build in our shop. Um, we build all these, our, our parts department builds this, our extrusions, our weld on hinges, the grease certs. Um, the same key here is gonna run the other keys on all the trailer. Mm -hmm. So instead of buying that off aftermarket door, we're buying all this ourselves. And what's, building the, all that ourselves. what's the benefit of having grease cert hinges, weld on hinges? Well, the grease cert hinges, I mean, first of all, a welded on hinge is always gonna be there. Um, compared to our competitors that would just use some light metal screws mm -hmm. or some rivets, that weld on hinge is gonna be there. And then the grease certs, just like a good piece of farm equipment, you can keep that thing working for years. I mean, all these things should work good new, but we want it to work good 10, 20 years down the road from now. Absolutely. Easy to maintain. We talk a lot about 
our tires here. Can you go into a little bit about what you stand behind on your your Cimarron's and kind of the warranties and everything like that? Yeah, the Cimarron truck itself has an eight-year structural warranty, a three-year hitch to bumper warranty. Um, there are components that we buy and put on the trailer that have their own separate warranties, but we work with the customer, the dealer, and those manufacturers. So components like tires and wheels, axles, um, jacks, things like that have their warranty, but we work with you to help that. Uh, when we look for vendors, part of the one of the things we look for is what is their warranty and how do they stand behind their products. We work with excellent vendors. We buy the better products to start with rather than there's less expensive axles we could buy. There's less expensive tires and wheels, but we get service from the vendors that we work with. Um, Lion's Head Tire and Wheel Company is who we buy our tires and wheels from. Um, several advantages there. They do all aluminum wheels, which is standard on every Cimarron trailer, is aluminum wheels. Um, they stand behind their products. They fill all their tires with nitrogen. Um, nitrogen filled tires have a more consistent PSI than a traditional just air filled tire. Um, all airplanes are required to have nitrogen in them. They're going through different atmospheres and different pressures. So more consistent PSI, you're going to have less flat tires. Um, Lion's Head has a great uh, program with roadside assistance for two years. Um, they've got a, a one year no questions asked warranty. And then on most of their tires is up to a five year prorated warranty on it. Really, really easy, great company to work with. All right, so up here is on the exterior of that generator box yep. that you saw. So up here we've got the generator. Um, generators take a lot of, of airflow. They're bringing air in and then they're sending air out. So in here we've got the 7,000 watt own end generator and its own battery so that it can pull it from its own battery source. So it's gonna bring air in this side and take that air to cool the engine and then exhaust the hot air on this side. Um, but like you said earlier, with all that insulated in there, the sound, you really don't even hear it inside the, the cargo area. Very quiet. Yeah. Took a lot of engineering and head scratching to figure this out, <laughs> but uh, a couple of renditions of these doors, but we've got the right airflow to, to support that. And those are doors you guys build at yeah. Cimarron, correct? We built that door, we put all the louvers in it, a lot of welding. It's a lot of welding. There's a lot of engineering to figure that out as well. Absolutely. But to be honest, we didn't figure it out the first time. It took about three tries, but now we've got it figured out. We got so. it. Right. <laughs> Third time's a try. Yeah. So earlier you mentioned about how much clearance we have. Um, I also want to point out Outlaw does a really good job of making sure everything's really tucked up. A lot of that does, has to do with the communication that they have with Cimarron, correct? Right. It's all part of the design feature and, and working with you know, all the parties involved to get the get it figured out. So, love all that ground clearance. I mean, these trailers are built to go off-road. So you don't have to pull into a blacktop campground with these. Yeah. And these are capable. If you do want some of the benefits of our air ride trailers that we have on a lot of our horse trailers, you will start see us building them with air ride suspension. Yep. Right. So again, the eight and a half foot slide out, the frameless windows add a lot of class to it. These are an awning window, so they will crank out you can have them out when it's raining and still not get rain inside there. Just uh, really adds to the beauty of yeah. Cimarron. And that cord you saw up front, if you do end up ever going to an actual campsite with power, um, you do have 50 amp service available to you. Um, so that if you didn't yeah. want to run everything off your generator, you can just plug in in a campsite. Right. So. Yeah. All right, Ben, kind of anything else you kind of want to touch on? Well, I, uh, you know, come take a look at them. It's an awesome new piece from Cimarron. We're excited about this new adventure. And even if you're not hauling something in the back, you got to feed, you know, it, we've got a, a new trailer for you to come look at. Absolutely. All right. So for anybody that has questions on this one, this is the one we have a party deck on. Um, we can add it to our other, our other freedoms, but this stock number is 5N191166. It is a 2020 Cimarron Freedom. So thank you, Ben, for, you for thank coming you, out and telling us a little bit about these trailers. We Glad really appreciate to. having you, all your knowledge. Uh, enjoyed it. Absolutely. Yeah. All right. Thank Thanks for tuning in.